Hey folks, I've been off the air for a couple of weeks only because it's summer right now here in Provincetown, but don't worry, I will be back to my more regular schedule soon. In the meantime, today I have put together a short and sweet tutorial for all of you about one of my favorite new free apps for the Mac. And by the end of this video, you're gonna wonder how you ever lived without Copy Clip. Coming up next on Tech Talk America. The app that I'm about to teach you is especially helpful for those of you out there who regularly use the copy and paste feature on your Mac. So let me ask you this, how many times have you found yourself in a situation where you don't need what you just copied, but you need what you copied a couple of copies ago, or even maybe from the previous day? Wouldn't it be nice if you could just access the entire clipboard history with one click? Well, you need to get Copy Clip. I have a link for you down below in the video description, or you can find it in the App Store. It's totally free, takes up two megabytes of space. When was the last time you were able to say that? And it's really easy to use. And to show you how to use it, let's now switch to my Mac. When you launch Copy Clip, you'll see it appear here in the menu bar at the top right corner of your Mac. Let's start by going here into Preferences. This is definitely one of those apps that you'll probably want to have start as soon as you turn on your computer. So I'd strongly recommend that you check this feature right here. As you can see here, we have total control when it comes to how far into the past that we can access. And if there are any apps that you don't want Copy Clip to have access to, you can specify them here in exceptions. I did want to mention that if you use a password management app like LastPass, Dashlane, or 1Password, you might want to list those apps as exceptions, especially if you use a shared computer. I also wanted to mention that in doing my research for this class, I did read their privacy policy and it did pass my personal litmus test. In order to demonstrate how to use this app, just prior to filming this segment, I copied a bunch of items just to show a history. When I pull up Copy Clip here in the menu bar, you can see each of those items listed below. Now, in order to paste any of these, I can either select the item in the list and then press Command V, just as you normally would paste using your keyboard, or I can also use the corresponding hotkey that you see listed just to the right. I really hope you guys enjoy this app. If you do, please be sure to let me know so down below in the comments section. I can tell you that for me personally, this app has saved a ton of time and frustration and I use it literally every day. Be sure to hit that like button and if you haven't done so, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and make sure you hit that little bell icon for notifications. Thank you so much for watching everyone. This is David A. Cox with Tech Talk America. Class dismissed.